Hey guys, Cody with CJC Off-Road and today we're bringing you guys a very unique truck. This is a 2023 Super Duty with the Carly Suspension 5.5 inch eVenture system. This is an electronically controlled shock. The truck's gonna ride at 5.5 inches of lift and it is rolling on Toyo 40 inch MT tires. Now, for those of you who have been following our channel for a while, this truck is owned by the People's Racing Team in Southern California. Those of you not familiar, that is a trophy truck team in Southern California. Nevertheless, this is a very cool 2023 Super Duty rocking a 5.5 inch lift kit that has a ton of performance built into it. Again, if you're not familiar, this is the Carly Suspension eVenture system. What this is, is an electronically controlled and live adjusting shock package. What makes this unique from other options on the market is the fact that it's reading your inputs. I've been driving um, a similar setup for the last two years. I think the coolest feature of this is when you're missing a freeway on ramp or you're late to hit the brakes for a uh, driveway for a gas station, things like that. You can lock up the front brakes of the truck and you can feel the front end of it stiff enough. So it's actually adding a higher level of control, higher level of comfort, not even argue a higher level of safety when you're hauling loads and things like that because the truck, it never does something that's unpredictable. Anyway, if you are interested in that system, we do have multiple videos detailing that eVenture system. Diving right on into the front end of this truck, again, the 5.5 inch eVenture system, the customer opted for the Carly fabricated radius arms, the high mount steering stabilizer, as well as the torsion sway bar. Those are all gonna be options on top of the five and a half inch base kit, but each option has its own merit and kind of makes it worthwhile in totaling up to this complete package. The radius arms, they're gonna give you a freer moving joint, there's a ton of options on the market for radius arm for 23 Super Duties. None of them are gonna have the free moving joint that the color suspension arm has. What that's gonna do is just buy a little bit more ride quality when you're going with a custom tuned spring and shock package. Torch and sway bar, that is a lighter rate sway bar. So when you are doing a one-sided hit, driveways, G outs, whatever you're using your truck for, you're gonna benefit from it. It is a lighter rate sway bar. So it's gonna give a little bit and not throw that truck side to side. Yet when you're cornering on the highway, especially with these eVenture shocks, you can corner these trucks extremely hard. It's still gonna keep it very planted to the road. Lastly, that high mount steering stabilizer is gonna help keep these Toyo MT tires under control. Toyo MT tires are very well known for a hard right hand pull and this stabilizer is gonna counteract that. Now diving into the rear of this truck, it's gonna be very simple. There's definitely less options for you to configure as a customer. You essentially just have to select a leaf spring option. There's two, the Adapack and Block combination or the full progressive spring pack. Again, this truck will not be used as a chase truck. We've actually built this team chase trucks, so they will not be needing that high capacity. So the customer opted for the complete replacement spring pack that Carly Suspension offers, what we refer to as the full progressive spring pack. What that is, is a lighter rate spring pack. So what you do sacrifice is a little bit of hauling capacity. What you gain is an extreme amount of comfort in the rear and suspension travel. Personally, at the time of this filming, I have my stock 23 Tremor. The rear leaf pack is atrocious. You can literally feel the suspension hold in the air as you go off of uh, an expansion joint or freeway interchange. You do not feel the tires make contact to the ground. You do not feel anything that you would refer to as smooth from the rear of the truck. When you swap to the full progressive spring pack, it completely changes the rear of this truck and it's kind of what you would expect from a performance suspension. Now again, that loss of capacity is not a permanent loss. Well, it is a permanent loss, but there are um, some substitutions you can make. Again, you can go with the um, Adapack, which on an F-250 is gonna bring you back up to that stock capacity, or you can do a high travel long bag system. Carly Suspension has their long travel airbag system, which is gonna give you, um, again, back to that F-250 capacity, but allow you to get full suspension traveling that this rear end allows. And again, if you have ever seen one of these systems even go up on the lift, you're gonna see an extreme amount of wheel travel a traditional airbag kit will not work. Now moving on to the wheels and tires, as I mentioned, this is gonna be on the Toyo MT40 by 1350 R17 tire. This tire is massive. If you've never stood next to a 40, I'm about six foot one, that tire is up to your hip. It is extremely cool. And yet running the 40s on the five and a half inch lift, this truck is not insanely tall. This isn't the crazy super duty that you saw driving on the highway in 2004. It is a very tasteful package. It looks good can perform off-road. It's just a very cool all-around setup. 
And for wheels, um, People's Racing opted for the fuel covert. It's gonna be a 17 by nine wheel and the plus one offset. So it's gonna allow those 40s to clear. We did have to do a hefty amount of trimming, pretty much the same amount of trimming we do to run 38s on the leveling kits, things like that. And then we also ran the KD Fabworks front bumper spacers. Now that does allow this truck to fully travel. If he was to seriously articulate it off-road, he would probably get into the fenders, again, at full articulation. I don't think that's gonna happen with this truck. Now, just another thing to keep in mind, running 40s is very cool, but again, for those of you who are jumping, things like that, or really pushing the extreme off-road performance, you may wanna tone it down to a 38 or 37 just to get that full stuff, as some people call it, and really put that wheel into the fender. Now, if you're not afraid of doing a little bit of trimming, spacing the bumper out a little bit, again, 38s and 40s is a very cool package. It looks extremely good. It fully clears. The truck drives really nice. Um, the steering can handle it. The brakes can handle it. The 10-speed transmission, a high output 6.7 can handle it. There's pretty much no worries of running that tire on this truck. And again, I know someone's going to comment down below that I tow 30,000 pounds a day. That comment is not for you. Anyone daily driving these trucks, you know, and just being a weekend warrior, the 38s and 40s work very well. Perfect. Well, I'd say that about wraps up this build. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, send us an email, shoot us a phone call. We'd be happy to help. If you're an installation shop who's coming across these parts for the very first time, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to set you guys up with a wholesale account. And yeah, again, a 2023 Super Duty is rolling down the street on a 5.5 inch lift kit, 40 inch tires. What more could you want for a cool Saturday cruising rig and yet something you can go out and have a lot of fun with in the dirt as well. So yep, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one.